Oh, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Joshy P. Welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about the open practice that just happened at the link yesterday. There was 43,000 people in attendance. And I got some sigs. I got some signatures, baby. Guess, guess who? Alright. Guess, guess. Guess who this one is? Guess who that one is? Alright, you know what? I'll just tell you because I can't, you know, I can't hear any of you guys. Come on. This is Malcolm Jenkins. Which, oh my god, I'm so happy I got Malcolm Jenkins. Actually, a premium player. I got two premium players here. And Donnie freaking Longball, man. Donnie freaking Longball. Um, yeah, after practice was over, I went down. Uh, when I, where I was sitting, I was sitting like, I don't know, maybe 20 rows up. Because um, I wanted to see everything. And around like the 50-yard line. And right after, almost by the time practice was over, I was in section 121. I want all the way over to like 105 or like, or I don't know, 110 maybe, uh, 107 or something. It was over by the tunnel where all the players come out and all, where all of them go back into the locker room. And we were right by the field goal post just leaning over the edge. And I was screaming at people trying to get them to come over. Um, I wanted Malcolm Jenkins sleeve his arm sleeve. I think that would have been dope But I was like, yeah, he was like kind of ignoring me. I'm like, yo, Mal, can I get the sleeve? And like at that point, you know, I'm not a, an incredibly outspoken person, but Like when I'm in public, I really don't care, you know, so I'm screaming like I don't care what people think of me So I'm just screaming like uh, I, w I really wanted Sam Bradford's autograph, man. So I'm like, I'm screaming, Sammy B, I trusted you, Sammy B. I'm screaming. People are laughing at me. I'm like, I don't care, man. I'm, I'm having a good time. Then here comes Donnie Jones. I'm like, Donnie Longball. My friend was trying to get his hat. He had like a, like one of those, you know, the sun hats on. My friend was trying to get his hat. And he's like, I can't give you my hat, but I'll give you an autograph. I'm like, I want to see some 50 yarders out of you this year. Donnie's like, hopefully you don't have to see a lot of me. So I'm like. Donnie Longball, you're amazing. Talked to Malcolm Jenkins. I said, best safety in the league. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not, but, you know, props to Malcolm Jenkins. Thanks for the autographs. Love it. I love it. But now what you guys are going to see, and I'm going to cut off here, is uh, some 7-on-7 seven -seven footage. I recorded a little bit, and I wanted to take selfies with Malcolm Jenkins and Donnie Jones, but I couldn't because my phone was, was going to die. I was recording so much. I got a lot of footage, which I might use for, for videos in the future talking about like uh preseason and shit um but i want to talk a little bit about what i thought um my impressions of the team my impressions of the new players um my impression of practice first of all practice is very high paced i love it i love the way chip practices it's great i think it's really good for the team i think it gets them conditioned ready for the game really well um and I'm, this this uh isn't going to have any audio because they play a lot of copyrighted music so i don't want to get a strike or anything like that um, and if you guys saw, um, I talked a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys flying a banner over um, the stadium during the National Anthem, which was very disrespectful, by the way. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that in this video. And the Cowboys fans in that, com in that comment section, though. Holy shit. So many Cowboys fans in my comment section. But anyway, um, nonetheless... Oh, and then uh, e I saw E-Rock. I don't know if you guys know who E-Rock is, but I saw E-Rock. And at first, like, I had a little brain fart, and I saw him, and I was like, holy shit, that's E-Rock. And it, like, kind of, like, hit me, and I'm like, yo, EDP. I said EDP. Like, what am I thinking? And then I, like, corrected myself. I'm like, yo, E-Rock. And he turned around, and he, like, pointed at me. And I was like, yo, that's dope. I met someone from Twitter in person. I don't know. It was just cool to me. It was just cool. And then, uh, what else happened? And then... E-Rock was, was going to get a banner to fly over Cowboys practice, and everybody thought that the guy that was supposed to fly the Eagles pl uh, banner crashed and, and died, but it wasn't him. Um, still, sadly, someone did lose their life. Uh, the, the plane just wasn't able to take off, and the banner didn't get to fly over practice, but sadly, some uh, a pilot that day lost his life, which sucks. You know, it's it's never never cool when someone dies, and I saw some Cowboys fans on Twitter talking shit about the pilot and i'm like that's just awful um but anyway, we're not gonna get into that because people are bad people sometimes people don't think about what they say and uh, it is what it is we nothing you can do to change that um so here uh i'm gonna talk about sam bradford a little bit byron maxwell um and then a little bit about jacory shepherd uh, so, so let's talk about Ja'Cory Shepard first because that's the biggest news. He tore his ACL and he'll be out for the season, which sucks. Um, and everybody's 
putting it on Bo the Boykin trade, saying, oh, we shouldn't have traded Boykin because now Shepard isn't going to be there to play nickel. Look, we have Randall Evans, Jalen Watkins, Nolan Carroll, Eric Rowe, and Walter Thurman. Like, we are fine, okay? And it's one guy who has never even played a down in the NFL or a preseason game for that matter. So we don't even know if he's going to be great. Honestly, I think he's going to be great, but... <laughs> I don't know about great, but he's going to be very good. He's a very underrated uh, draft pick, in my opinion. A uh, very short guy, but he's I think he's very good. A very, he's like a ball hawk. The dude just flies around for the ball. Um, but the, the play got hurt. I actually saw him. I witnessed him get hurt, and it was an amazing play by Darren Sproles. But uh, <laughs> sucks for Ja'Cory Shepard. I shouldn't be laughing, but, I mean, Darren Sproles laid the, laid the boom on this guy. He, he caught a little screen pass, ran up the field. Ja'Cory tried to bring him down. Darren Sproles just sh stiff-armed him into, uh, his, into oblivion, um, and he just went on, continued with his way. They pulled Ja'Cory off to the side. Uh, I would have liked to have seen Darren stick around for that, but I guess practice goes on. Shit happens all the time. It is It is business. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Let's talk about Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford played absolutely phenomenal that day. Um, his accuracy is just, wow, man. Wow, the dude can throw the ball. It, he's the real deal. I don't care what you say. This dude is the real friggin' deal. When they're going game speed, when I'm, when I'm watching the Eagles put the whoop on the Colts Sunday, and I know it's a preseason game, but when our first stringers are out there, it's like the regular season, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put the whoop on the Colts on Sunday. I expect to see Sammy B do really well. Uh, and another guy I want to talk about, Josh Huff, and another guy, Jordan Matthews. Those two are incredibly good. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of them this season. That's a duo for years and years and years to come. I'm, I'm loving it, man. These receivers, these young guys are mm, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And Nelson Aguilar, that dude can make plays, and he goes hard. Him and Jordan Matthews, they just try so hard, and I love it. I love it. It's practice. Go hard and practice. Practice the way you play. You know what I'm saying? And then also I want to talk about Byron Maxwell. Great player. There, He got beat on this ball. Um, I forget who was throwing it, and I forget who caught it. But I recorded the video of it, and I'm sure I'll do like a little training camp highlight video or something. Freaking Byron Maxwell, he he gave up a little bit of a step. The guy caught the ball. He comes out, rips the ball out, strips him, and I was like, $10 million right there, baby. <laughs> but I'm excited for all these players, guys. I really am. 43K in attendance on Sunday. That was crazy. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think of the new team in the comments, and if you would like to see a little bit of uh, training camp footage, I will do my best to show you, and I'll probably do uh, talk over it without the audio because uh, they do play a lot of copyright music like I said. If you guys want to like the video and subscribe, I would highly appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about training camp. Tell me what you think about all these position battles and stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter at the Joshy P. I'd really appreciate that as well. Uh, as I said, this is all I got for you guys today. My name is Josh and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.